Hi, I'm Joe, and this is part two of our Boolean Algebra series. If you haven't seen part one yet, I recommend you go back and watch part one first of our Boolean Algebra part one. This will continue where part one left off. So we're going to start with the NAND gate. The NAND gate takes two inputs, we'll call those A and B, and gives an output, we'll call it Q. You can see a NAND gate looks very similar to the AND gate we showed in part one of our video series, except that it has an additional circle out here on the end of it, which inverts the output. So a NAND gate is equivalent to a NOT gate placed in front of an AND gate. This is a standard AND operation, and the output is inverted. And that's exactly how the NAND gate works. So in terms of our algebraic notation, Q, our output, is equal to A dot B, which means A and B, and then the bar over it, which means not, or an inversion of that. So we'll cycle through the different inputs and show the truth table, which shows you what output you'll get for each input. Um, you can see here we give input 0 for A and 0 for B is going to give us uh, 1 for the output. When we give 0 and 1 for input, we get 1 for output. And we give 1 and 0 for output input, we give 1 for output. Only when we have both 1's for input, then we get a 0 for output. So this is the NAND operation. So let me show you how that compares to the AND operation that we covered in part one of our video. You can see it's exactly the opposite. The NOT gate out in front of the AND operation is just inverting the output. So this is the NAND and this is the AND operation. Standard AND. So you only get one for output when you have both ones for input. All the other outputs are zeros. And the NAND operation gives you the exact inverse of that. So it gives you a zero when you have both ones for input and ones for any other input. Now let's look at the NOR gate. NOR is basically NOT combined with OR. So it accepts two or, two or more inputs. We'll call those A and B for our demonstration here and a Q for the output. The symbol for a NOR gate is very similar to the OR gate, but it also has a little circle placed out in front which inverts the output, so it's similar to the NAND gate. And you can see functionally it's equivalent to an OR gate with an inverter placed out in front of it. So our algebraic notation Q, the output, is equal to A or B inverted. So this is called A nor B. So when we have a 0, 0 input, we get a 1 output. We have a 0, 1 input, we get a 0 output. 1, 0 input, we get a 0 output. 1, 1 input, we get a 0 output. So we only get a, a positive output when we have two zeros. It's exactly the inverse of the OR, as you can see here. So the standard OR gives a 1 when any one of the input signals is, is 1. So the NOR gate is going to give a 1 only when they're all zeros input. The next gate we're going to cover is the exclusive OR gate, which is commonly called XOR. So this is our symbol. It looks just like an OR gate, except that it has this additional curved line out in front of it, which makes it an exclusive OR gate. So it takes two or more inputs, gives an output, which we'll refer to as Q for our truth table's purpose. Algebraically, the symbol for exclusive OR is, looks just like A or B, right? A plus B, but there's a circle around the plus sign. So our truth table looks very similar to the OR, except that when both input signals are positive, you get a zero output. So only when one or the other 
input is a 1, then you'll get a positive output. So let's compare that to a standard OR. The standard OR gate is very similar except that when both inputs are 1, you get a 1 output for the OR. With the exclusive OR, only when one of the signals is 1, you get a 1 output. So just wrapping up, we've covered NAND gate, the NOR gate, and the exclusive OR gate. Now in our first video series, we covered the NOT gate, the AND gate, and the OR gate. So if you're interested in seeing those, just go back and see uh, the first video in our series. Now in closing, we'll show you one last trick that is very often used in logic design. Um, this is not a rectangle here out in front of the NAND gate. It is actually a wire tying the two input signals together so that you can input an A for both pins on a NAND gate and it basically works like a NOT gate, an inverter. So when you input an A to both pins, you're going to get the inverse of A on the output. And the same thing works on a NOR gate. It's very commonly used in logic design. So if you input an A to both pins on a NOR gate, you're going to get the inverse of A on the output. So it's just like a NOT gate. I'm Joe. Thank you for watching.